Hi there, and welcome to CCPS Science Review Lab. Today, we're going to take a peek at how our moon interacts with Earth. So when we say the moon interacts with work, with Earth, we're talking about how the two impact each other and specifically what we see from Earth when we're looking at the moon and what we experience from Earth. So if you look down in the comments, you're going to find this link down here that's going to let you play around with this animation. When you see the animation, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to hit play. Once you hit play, you're going to see the moon start revolving around Earth here. And then in this cutout, it's going to show you what we see from Earth. So right now, the way the moon is positioned, we've got the sun over here, earth over there, and there's the moon. And you can see the sun's light reflecting off this side of the moon. But this part of the moon remains dark, the part that we see, because the moon is blocking out the light from the sun. We're seeing only darkness over here. So as a result, we call this the new moon when there's nothing lit up in our sky. If we hit play and we continue, we can watch. Yep, there's our new moon. And we're gonna go over there. And let's stop there for a second. Actually, I'm gonna bring it back if I can. Hold on. All right, we'll leave it there. We've got our first quarter moon. So you've got the sun's light reflecting off this part of the moon. And we can see this first quarter. Now, some people get confused because if you look at this, we're clearly only seeing one quarter of the moon. People are like, hey, but wait, that's a half of the moon. I get the confusion. When we think of the moon, here's that whole entire moon, okay? We are only seeing this quarter right here. So yes, half of it appears to be illuminated, but we're only seeing one quarter because we don't see that back end right on that side. We're only seeing that front quarter. So we call that our first quarter moon. Because more and more of the moon is showing, we're calling it a waxing moon because more and more of the moon is visible. So here we have our waxing gibbous. Again, that like three quarters of it, that surface showing. Then we're gonna go to a full moon. Now we're starting to see less of the moon. As we see less of the moon, we call that a waning gibbous or a waning quarter or a waning crescent. Okay, so I invite you to come over to this website and see what you can play with in terms of those animations. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and copy down. So you've got them for your notes. I'm going to move this over here so you guys can see a little bit better. There you go. Do so you go ahead and copy down the labels as well as the diagram, paying attention to whether it's waxing or waning and is the right side of the illustration or the left side illuminated because that's what's going to give you that hint. If your right side is illuminated, it's going to be waxing. If the left side is illuminated, you know it's waning or appearing to get smaller. So based on all that, Go ahead and look. You can play with our Lunar Cycle Challenge. This link is also down in the comments section or in the details. And you're gonna be able to go there and play. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the pattern and fill in the missing phases. So when you get a chance, go ahead to that website and show me what you know.